Good afternoon everyone, Trackman44 here. Um, I think we're going to call this the beginning of part two of this uh, gooseneck trailer rebuild, um, or repair I guess for lack of a better term. Let me show you what we got so far and what we're getting ready to do, what this portion is going to be about. First off, let it be said about my overhead here. That overhead is all built out of scrap iron right off the job site, comes straight out of the trash hoppers or before it went into the trash hoppers. A uh, 4-inch schedule 40 pipe for the poles, and then 8-inch, 4-inch, 10-inch I-beam, whatever uh, structural steel uh, some of the iron workers want to get rid of, you know, at the end of the projects. But don't let it be said that um, that you can have too many uh, chain falls whenever you're working around these old tractors and all this old equipment. Um, I've got a number of them here. I don't know, I got four, five, six of them, I guess, up on top. And believe it or not, I was one shy. I just had to hang this little bitty fellow right here just in order to support the frame while I'm cutting the frame apart. And of course, I've got to put, uh, I've only got one more trolley, but I've got to get these guys here on a couple of trolleys in the back just to make it a little more universal. But uh, I'm never going to turn it down. I have people stop by, you know, with these in the back of the truck, say, hey, well, you know, this was grandpa's or this was uncle so-and-so, and I don't know anybody wants it. If you want it, you can have it. Well, you know what, I'm not going to say no. So yeah, it looks like I have a lot of them, but man, I tell you what, you use a lot of them. Like right now, I'm using four one particular time. The first part of the video, you saw my son and myself cutting all this uh, this thing apart. So now it's going to be trimming up all this nasty stuff and actually cutting it back to where we want to make the repair or have the repair begin. Now what I've done, uh, I've got my notepad out and I took the actual dimensions of everything uh, bef before you know we cut it apart so we know the exact dimensions uh, to, you know to go back with. So once I get things tacked in, of course we'll square and everything, make sure that uh, the dump bed's going to set squarely on the frame whenever we raise it and lower it, you know. And so now we're ready to go ahead and destroy uh, the remaining portions of what got destroyed in, uh, in it coming apart. Now, you're probably going to wonder why I'm using those razor blades and not a cutting torch. Uh, cutting torch would be the, the, the obvious and the best thing to, to take things apart with. But uh, the reason I'm not doing it is simply because I, I want to save as much material as possible. Like that 6x6 six six beam that I'm cutting out right there. Um, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to just blow holes in it or anything like that. I want to take it out just as neatly as possible. Uh, so we dismantled everything that we dismantled uh, with the use of those Metabos or Milwaukee angle grinders with uh, those Metabo blades or what they call razor blades, those little 16th inch uh, cutoff wheels. They work really, really well. Uh, cutting torch definitely would have been better, but we would have had a lot more distortion in the pieces that we want to use, uh, even though there's not very much of it's going to be used back, uh, used back again. But uh, the big thing we're going to have an issue with is deciding where to stop. Uh, we're thinking about possibly putting a butt joint right there where I'm grinding right now. But uh, as we got farther and farther along and realizing how thin that material is and thinking about the stresses and stuff that's going to be on that particular joint whenever we go back, um, it wasn't until the end of this video that I actually decided to um, more than likely change everything uh, in the subframe and go with heavier quarter inch material. Uh, but I, I really was just about at this point. But we were still taking care and making sure that we didn't do any extra damage that was going to have to take additional time and, and stuff to repair. Because you never know when you take things apart, you want to take them apart with the intention of uh, possibly reusing them. I mean, you know, that's the way we do anyway. Um, you know, we, we, we usually run on a tight budget. I uh, don't really have a excess amount of, you know, money laying around to buy parts and pieces unless we just absolutely have to. But um, at, at any rate, you know, this is uh, this is really a pretty good project. And it's it's the trailer was a little light to begin with, and we probably overloaded it just about every time we ever used it. Um, but you know what? Uh, the tools are made to, to use and abuse. You know, ain't nothing we have looks real pretty, and we don't really really care one way or another. Uh, we do want to take care of stuff, uh, and when we do break things, we try to build it back at least better than what we had to uh, to begin with. And if you if you were to look at the gooseneck on this trailer, um, that's actually been replaced. My brother and myself just rebuilt that with much heavier material a couple of years ago. Whenever uh, a friend of mine was using my truck in the trailer and kind of got it. <laughs> kind of in a bind and twisted the gooseneck down and bent my bed up and bent the ball in my bed and stuff. So we built that real heavy. So this is probably going to end up the same way. Um, there, this, this is just too light to try to do anything with. Uh, you know, I got so busy on this particular project when I got uh, 
to this stopping point. I forgot to do a salutation for the end of the video. So, uh, you know what? We're just going to cut her off right here. We're going to say um, we beat this one to death. And this is Tractor Man 44. And I am out of here. I just realized I got a couple more seconds. So I'm going to hawk the next portion of the video. Stay tuned. Uh, the next part, we're going to start going back together with some stuff. Uh, hopefully, it'll be, uh, it'll be uh, appealing to y'all. And I'm out of here for good this time.